Welcome back everybody. I'm Dave Hayes and this is Hayes Tech. This is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech and I do mean anything tech. Now in this video we are going to be continuing my reviews that I did on watches. Now I started out doing Casio reviews because I have a lot of Casio watches. But I also have a lot of you know full mechanical watches meaning you have to wind them up most of the watches actually all of the mechanical watches i have are actually self-winding you know we'll get into that later you know all about the self-winding features and how that works what i wanted to go over today was the islander by long island watch and this is the isl-18 based in long island new york uh, the owner mark sells really high quality watches ranges from seiko all the way up to rolexes and in between he was also selling modded Seiko watches, and specifically the Seiko Dive watch. He was actually selling a lot of those modded Seiko Dive watches, and he decided, you know, why don't I just make my own line of watch based on the watches that I modded with, you know, some of the changes that I would like to see, and that's what he did. And that watch is what we're going to review right here today. It's one of them. There are several models in this lineup, and the uh, the watch is called the Islander. And again, the model that I'm reviewing is the ISL-18, and again, it's in this box, and we'll get to see it as soon as we come back. Before we go any further, I'm going to do a wrist check just because I see a lot of videos out there, watch reviewers that actually do wrist checks. And yeah, I'm wearing two watches today only because um, I'm going to be doing a, a review on my GW9400 here. I think it's a GW. Anyway, it's, it's the range, man. And, uh, and of course, my other one over on this wrist is my edifice. Also, before we go any further, I do want to thank Mark you know, from Island Watch for allowing me to review this watch. Uh, they gave me a link to go through, and, and he said, you know, just go through there, tell me what watch you want to review. I'll check and see if we have it, you know, available, you know, whether or not it's out to another YouTuber or whatever. And if it's available, we'll go ahead and send it to you. And I was actually talking to Ryan, uh, who works there, and uh, he's the one that actually set this all up. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ryan. Now, I did want to mention that Mark has his own YouTube channel, and he goes over, you know, how to mod Seiko watches and other watches. He explains, like, hacking features. He just has a lot of good videos, and I'm going to go ahead and link his YouTube channel in the video description below. And I highly recommend you go over and check out his YouTube channel because, let me tell you what, I've learned a lot by watching some of his videos. So, uh, again, I'm going to link that below. So what do you say we go ahead and get into the Islander by Island Watches? I did want to say right away that I did already open this up just because I wanted to make sure, you know, all the functions, how it worked, how it felt on my arm. And I did wear this watch for several days just to, you know, give you guys an idea of the comfort levels of the watch, how it ran, did it lose any time, did it gain any time. And we are going to go ahead and get into that later. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you what the box looks like. This is, of course, their crest or their logo. I think it's nice. I like the logo on it. It's got another one on that side. There's really nothing on the bottom. And that is how it's going to come in the box right there. There's actually a card in the box as well. It'll come with all the watches right here. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and put my white gloves on because I have i really don't want to show off my messed up hands. My hands are really uh, dry, and, and I, also, I've got the watch cleaned up, and I want to try to keep it clean. I don't normally do this for a review, but then again, the watches that I'm reviewing normally are my watches. And this one I've got to send back. It's not my watch, so I want to keep it as pristine as I can. 
Plus, you won't be focusing on my hands, you know, instead of the watch itself. Now, this will be a quicker review than most of my watches, you know, like my Casio watches, because this watch, all it does is tell time. It tells time, gives you date and day. So, the first thing, it's made out of stainless steel. It's got a stainless steel case body and band. Uh, the bezel's stainless steel. Also, it's got a beautiful dark blue face on it. And I also wanted to mention that the hands and all of the hour markers are luminous. And the Island Watch icon on the face is also uh, made with loom. The bezel does rotate, but it only rotates in one direction which that is what you want on a true dive watch. The clicks are positive and, I mean, very, very smooth. I really like that. I don't like a bezel that rotates in two directions. They're nice, but if it's, you know, if you're going to use it for a dive uh, watch, you do not want it to rotate in two directions. Also, uh, I they make one that has loom on the bezel as well. And... That is another feature I think is just awesome. Uh, this one does not have that feature. It's also ceramic coated on the bezel. So that white color you see there is actually a ceramic coating. Again, the one thing I would have loved to have seen is loom on the bezel on all the markers on it. This one doesn't. They do have models that does have loom on the bezel. Now, I also wanted to mention that this watch has hacking features. And what that means is, I'm going to go ahead and, I got to take these gloves off. It's, I'm, I'm not used to gloves. I can't, <laughs> I can't do what I want to do with gloves on. But I wanted to show you the hacking feature. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice, it has a screw down crown. So you have to unlock it first. So you screw it to unlock it. There, it's unlocked. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just give it a little wind. There, there's two. I just gave it two winds. I actually learned something about winding watches by watching one of his videos, and that is on a self-winding watch like this, you only want to give it one, maybe, maybe two winds at the most. That's it. And then just, you know, the motion of you moving around, your arm, you know, moving around, that's going to do the rest of the winding of the watch. So you don't have to wind it all the way up, then put it on, there may be a chance of the watch actually overwinding. So I wanted to talk about hacking features. Okay, now notice that the second hand is going around. Now if I pull this stem out to set the time on it, notice the second hand has stopped. That's what's called hacking, and a lot of watches don't have that, but this watch does, and hacking was a feature that was brought up back, you know, I think it was during the war or in military use and in the other uses. If you had a group of people and you wanted to all set your watch at the exact same time so everybody was on the same page, you would want to have hacking features. And if your second hand was rotating, you couldn't get everybody to be to the second you know, on time with each other. And with hacking, you can do that. And this watch does have that feature. Now, the only thing that I noticed is on all the watches that I have that has hacking, the seconds hand actually has a circle on it toward the end. This one doesn't have that. But uh, it does have hacking features on this watch. And I did want to mention that the bezel, again, is just really super smooth in its rotation. And it only rotates in one direction. Again, that true diver, you know, watch. That, that's what a diver watch does. It cannot rotate in both directions. Or, you know, you, what they use the bezel for in, in a diver situation is when you're coming up from a deep dive and you have to do decompression stops, you, you have to sit, you know, you have to be there in this certain distance for a certain amount of time. So it's, you know, it doesn't matter if it gets bumped further you know so that you're going to be at your decompression stop longer but you don't want it to go shorter or you could end up getting the bend so that's what that features for now the movement inside is the nh36 and they do have their own movements 
uh, in these watches, and I'm not sure who they have build their movements for them, uh, but they are their own movements. Uh, again, this is the NH36. It is a 24 joule uh, automatic movement with 21,600 vibrations per hour. Again, it's self-winding. It does support hand winding and hacks, which again, I explained to you guys what the hacking was. And the power reserve in this is about 41 hours when it's fully wound. And this also has both day and date movement and you can view it right over here on the right hand side of the watch. Now uh, in his videos he does talk about screw down crowns, why they have them, how they get, how they seal up. There's actually an o-ring on the inside wherever the crown screws into the the body of the watch. I'm going to go ahead and push that back and screw it down to basically just push in on it, make sure it's all in and then just now, I was told that it is still water, you know, waterproof with the crown out, but I would never trust, you know, this to be fully waterproof unless that crown is wound in on it. If you think about it, a watch is probably the oldest tech that we have. And, you know, guys, you know me, I love anything that has to do with tech. And a watch is definitely in that tech realm. They're taking... A bunch of super small gears meshing them together and having them rotate in such a way that it keeps perfect time and when I say perfect time I mean good watches will hold you know uh, plus or minus one second a day and and that's just amazing technology out of a bunch of gears now the measurements on this are 42.5 millimeters and that's for your case width uh, the bezel on it is 41.40 millimeters. Lug to lug is 46.60 millimeters. It is 15.44 millimeters or right around 15 and a half millimeters from case back to the crown. I've seen some really domed watches. I don't like watches that have a high dome on them. I like the way this one looks. Uh, again, it is described as having a dome top, but it is a very slight dome. And it is also 45.76 millimeters from the case edge to the tip of the crown. So if you're going, you know, from here to here, from the edge of the crown to the case edge, uh, it has 30.75 millimeters of actual viewable watch dial or the watch face. You know, that the part that you can actually see. And of course, uh, this will vary depending on what model you get and what kind of bezel that it has on it. Uh, I also want to mention that it has a coin edge bezel. I actually like the coin edge bezel. It's not too rough, but it's definitely positive enough that you can grab it even with gloved hands and move the case bezel you know, to wherever you need to move it. Again, it's probably something you'll never use unless you know you dive. I've seen people use that to have dual times, and yes, you can do that. So, you know, there's always that. Now, it does have an adjustable stainless steel clasp right here. And it is a double locking clasp, meaning that you unlock it right here. And then you pinch the double buttons, one on each side, pinch them together, and it will open up. It does feel very sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap. It's got a brushed finish on it. It has three positions for adjustments on this side for fitting your wrist. I will say that I had to remove two links off of this watch. To get it to fit my wrist and I wanted to mention that I've had problems with a lot of watches fitting my wrist uh, okay take this Casio whenever I pull links out I can get it to fit on my wrist but it's either too tight or too sloppy and the micro adjustments just it just doesn't do it yeah I can get it to work but to be honest with you I had 
better luck getting this watch to fit on my wrist than, uh, than any other watch that I own. And I really like that. Now, taking out the links, you know, to shorten it up to get it to fit, which again, I had to do. I had to take two links out. Again, this is one of the easiest watches that I've ever seen to take a link out. Normally, you have to get a punch. You have to push the pin through. Some of those pins are terrible at trying to get those pins out. Now, I actually have a watch set that has a little, like a clamp and a screw on one side. You set the band in there and you screw down and it pushes the pin out. I broke two of my pushers trying to get the pins out of this one right here. And it, it's just crazy. Now, this one here, it doesn't do it that way. It actually has a screw and it just made it so easy. You just put that little teeny screwdriver in there, unscrew the pin, the pin comes out, your links come apart, and it's so simple to size this watch band. It's just unreal. I love it. I wish all watch bands were like that one. I really like the brushed effect that they did on the bracelet. This is the kind of band I like. Again, it's got that brushed look to it. I like my bands to be a little heavier, but it's not too light. It this believe me, this watch has a lot of it's got a lot of weight to it. It does not feel like a cheap watch. I want to show you the case back on it. Again, it is a stainless screw down case back. That's got the Island Watch logo on the back of it. I don't know if you can see through there. It's actually a picture of Long Island. I'm going to put in a lot of B-roll here. So, yeah. Again, to close the clasp, you close it, snap it, fold over the top. It locks it in, and you are set. Again, the... Islander logo on the back of the watch is simple but elegant. I really do like that. Um, you guys know how I am with my watch backs. I like a a watch that the back of it uh, is you know is more more than what other watches have you know just inscribed the movement model and you know how many meters. I like to see a little more and the fact that he put a an etching of Long Island on the back of it, I think adds just a little touch of class in in my opinion okay uh, i do want to put it on my wrist and let you guys see what it looks like now i don't have it sized to fit my wrist the band now i did so i could wear the watch and you know get an idea of how it you know ran and how it felt and all that and i actually wear watches on this arm so i was wearing that watch on this arm okay that way I could get a true feeling for how the watch was going to react and how it felt. And I wore this watch for three days straight. So there you go. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's a very elegant watch. It's definitely a watch that I wouldn't mind owning. And you guys know me. I'm very particular about my watches. Now, I'm not going to test the loom on this, but I will say that it is very bright. Um, and it lasts a long time. I don't know what they're using for loom. But it lasts way longer than any of the loom on my other watches, like my Casios and my Bulova. The looms are nice on those watches, but they just don't seem to stay as bright as the loom on this watch. So, like I said, I don't know what they're using, but I would love to have that loom on all of my watches. Final thoughts. Now, uh, I was going to try to have Noah put it on his wrist, and he has a 7 and a quarter inch wrist and he just couldn't get the watch over his hand so he would actually have to purchase an extra link probably i think a link would do it uh, in order to get this watch to fit him now he is six six seven now and uh he's he's, he's got pretty thick wrists now for me again i thought it fit pretty good i had to take two links out i took one link from each side out and it fit perfect. I didn't have to use any of the micro adjustments on the clasp itself. Okay, and final thoughts. 
First and foremost, I want to thank Mark. He didn't have to send this watch to me. My YouTube channel isn't as big as a lot of people out there, but I do get a lot of views on my watch reviews that I put out. It'd be nice if, you know, mo all the people that watched my uh, watch videos would actually subscribe, but hey, you know, I'm not out there begging people to like, share, and sub. You know, I it, that's not me. And also, Ryan who answered my email and basically got the ball rolling for me to get a watch. Thank you very much. The people down over there at Long Island Watch is just outstanding. Well, I guess this Island Watch is just outstanding. Uh, they did a great job. If I had to pick one thing I didn't like about the watch, it would have to be the, the band itself. The band felt a little on the light side for a watch that's in the 350 $350 range but with it being you know a little lighter than I like it was still very comfortable I didn't have any time where it was pulling the hair out of my arm uh, where it was digging into my arm and with it having an offset uh, winding button or you know the, the button that you set it doesn't dig into your arms whenever you put your wrist back and I wear my watch on the left hand and that puts that winding crown right where you know right at where my wrist bends and normally when I wear watches like this that have the winding stem on it uh, I usually wear it on my left arm that way it doesn't dig into my arm whenever I you know either push myself up or lean against a wall whatever I do like that and that's something that most of the Seiko dive watches has and that's a feature that he carried over onto his watches and you know I really do like that feature the last thing I'm gonna say is I am definitely going to be posting a link down below to Mark's YouTube channel great videos if you want to learn about winding watches and, you know some of the features about them how to do this how to do that I highly recommend watching his videos that's pretty much it again thank you for sending me the watch to review I do appreciate it um, you've got a winner here you know as far as I'm concerned I want to thank all of you out there for watching my videos if you have any questions make sure you post them below um, go out and check out island watches and especially the Islander and uh, let me know if you end up getting one let me know what you think of it so that's pretty much it I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next one Thank you.